Hey, what's up guys, Stefan here, and today we're building another beat. Of course, it's Sunday. Today's video is brought to us by Loop Cloud from Loop Masters. Loop Cloud is a free application for Windows and Mac that allows you to access your full Loop Masters sample library and loop library directly from the cloud and sync it straight to your door. All the loops will play in context with your beat, so in the same key and the same tempo which is sick. But what's even better, new users get one gigabyte of free sounds and 150 samples per week. So even if you haven't purchased any loops from Loop Masters, you can still get going with some free material. But to give you better context and to see if it's something you're interested in and you can benefit from, let's use it today in our beat. All right, let's go. Okay, so to save time, I've already created the drum pattern. We're going to add Loop Cloud as a plugin so that we can audition our loops in the same key and tempo as our beat. Cool, so let's open the Loop Cloud application. You only have to log in the one time and then you have access to all of your samples and loops. Loop Masters kindly hooked me up with a bunch so I could get a feel for the application. But remember, new users get free samples too. As you can see, there's many ways to search for what you're looking for, which can save a huge amount of time. I'm searching via instrument. I mainly asked for guitar stuff because I love guitars in beats, but I can't really play that well. And that's where loops and samples show incredible value. They can help you fill in your musical gaps. As you can see in here, every loop is playing in time with the beat regardless of the tempo difference. And I can even change pitch. But I'm going to cheat today. I've already saved some that I really like for this drum pattern. Yes, now that's Trap Soul. Cool, so once you're happy, you can click and drag the process version straight into Logic and we are good to go. But you know me, I like to switch things up, so I'm gonna reverse this loop, EQ it, and put some slow down and speed up effects on the top and tail. And just like that, we've made the loop our own. It doesn't sound like the loop we originally got, but we would have never got this result without the loop in the first place. So the possibilities are pretty endless. Right, let's add some original elements to build on this, and we'll revisit Loop Cloud again in a moment. I'm using Contour by Native Instruments for this synth, and I'm gonna add some just fast paced melodic stuff just to add a bit of energy to the beat. So with this synth, I'm just sitting on one bass note, so there's no real progression here being defined. So I'm going to take an 808 bass and create that kind of progression in the low end. This is the Lex Luger 808 bass and you can hear the portamento on it which adds a bit of flavour. You can hear the gliding between each 808 note. Don't know about you, but that's sounding pretty damn dope to me. So let's jump back into Loop Cloud and add some vocals to finish it off. Cool, so just like with the guitar loop, I myself cannot perform a female vocal because, well, I'm a man. And again, I'm going to cheat so you don't have to sit down and listen to me audition every single one of these vocals, but I'm gonna show you something cool. Let's open up an instance of Battery 4. Now we can drag out our process sample straight into battery 4. And from here, I'm just going to sample the beginning. Key track it across every key, EQ it, and add some pitch correction to add some character. And this is what we get. I told you, when you have this much amount of inspiration in a plugin or application, the possibilities are endless. So let's take a quick moment to vibe out to this beat. Cool. 
cool. So before we wrap it up, let's quickly head back into Loop Cloud and let's show let me just show you a few more things that you can do with it, which I think is pretty cool. So with Loop Cloud, you get loops and you get samples. The loops that I imported myself, they were WAV format, but there are many other formats for different kinds of loops and samples. Logic specific, we have the EXS format, Logic templates and Apple loops. But then there's formats for many other popular plugins too, as you can see. Another cool feature is that you can control the playback of samples by changing the pattern. And lastly, you can play loops at half time and at double time. But you get the gist, it's a powerhouse and I've only just scratched the surface. All right, that's it guys. I hope you learned something new today. If you did, be sure to let me know down in the comment section below. Don't forget you can get started with Loop Cloud for free today just by going to loopcloud.net and downloading the free application. Sign up to get your free one gigabytes and your 150 samples per week. For more production tips and beat making videos every week, be sure to subscribe. I've been Stefan and as always, happy beat making.